Hi everyone, and welcome back to Glaze Chunk. In today's video, we'll be showing you how to find every ore in Minecraft 1.18. So we hope you're excited for this video, and if you are, make sure to slap that like button, and if you're new, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Now let's get right into this one. Coal ore, the most common ore in the game. Coal ore will be just about everywhere players look when they first start cave diving. With the ability to generate in levels 322-0, those looking for coal will need to stay above the deep slate layer, looking in regular stone caves or mountain terrain. The distribution algorithm for this ore means that there are two levels where coal is most common, 95 and 136. It's worth noting that both of those layers will likely be above average ground level, meaning mountains are the best place to go looking for coal. Copper Ore This game's newest ore added in 1.17, copper is another ore that's relatively easy to find. The total range for copper ore are 112 to negative 16. This means players can clip to the deep slate layers and find a bit of copper ore but they're best sticking a little higher than that. What's interesting about copper is that it has much greater spawn rate in dripstone cave biomes, becoming as common as coal in those areas. Whether the player is in a dripstone cave or not, the best layer to find copper is 48, meaning players won't need to dive too far below the surface to get a hold of them. Iron ore. Old Faithful, iron is likely the material players will be using the most for most of the game. Iron tools and armor are the best to get as early as possible, as they'll keep the players safe in the time before they can find diamonds. Thankfully, its range is the wildest of all ores, generating from 320 to negative 64, which is the entire height of a Minecraft world. Lapis Lazui Ore An odd material needed for both dying and enchanting, Lapis is surprisingly rare. It generates in regular caves and deep slate caves in equal amounts, generating from layer 64 down to bedrock. However, it's relatively rare in those areas. The algorithm for generating it makes it only slightly more common than gold in most situations. Those looking specifically for it will be best looking just on the cusp of the deep, deep slate layer at negative one. That said, players might be better off going a bit higher. While the ore will be slightly less common, stone can be mined a lot quicker than deep slate, making it more efficient overall, especially with an efficiency enchantment. Redstone ore. Useful for all kinds of crazy contraptions and advanced machines, redstone is one of the most common ores to find in the depths of the depths in Minecraft worlds. It starts generating at layer 16 and keeps going all the way down to bedrock. When looking for the most common layers, going as deep as possible is the right thing to do. Redstone gets more common with each layer below negative 32. So mining around negative 59 will be the best way to go. While it is theoretically more common, a little deeper, Bedrock starts spawning from level negative 60 downwards, which makes mining around it much harder. Gold. The classic shiny object that everyone wants. Gold has a limited number of uses in Minecraft. It's virtually useless when it comes to tools and armor, however, the nether's piglins will happily take it off a player's hands in exchange for some goodies. Emerald Needed for trading with villagers, emeralds aren't often found in ore veins. Getting emeralds is generally much easier if done via villager trading, but this could give players a head start on that process. This ore is unique as it only generates in mountain biomes, which this update has thankfully made for bigger than they used to be. In a mountain biome, emeralds will generate from layer 320, the very top of the world, to negative 16, 
Unlike most ores, though, they generate far more the higher in the world players go. While theoretically makes 320 the best place for them, it's impossible for a mountain to generate that high, making layer 236 the best spot to find these green gems. And lastly, diamonds. The beauty that everyone is after. Diamonds are the best possible ore that can be found in the overworld. Diamonds and the process of finding them have become a key part of Minecraft icon graphy. And players will be pleased to know that it has become just a little bit easier to find them with this update. Perhaps on purpose. Diamond's generation looks quite similar to redstone. It starts generating at layer 16 and goes all the way down to bedrock. It also gets more common the deeper it goes, although it doesn't become anywhere near as common as redstone. The best layer to look for it is negative 59 to avoid bedrock getting in the way. Although if players are lucky enough to find one of the new massive caves, they will likely find multiple veins of diamond visible in the walls. And anyways guys, thank you guys so much for watching here on Glaze Junk. We hope you enjoyed it, hit the like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, watch the videos on screen because I'm sure you'll love at least one of them. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next Minecraft video. Bye bye